hi everybody welcome to my fourth YouTube video today I am going to take you along through my hair journey so as you see here this is where my journey began this is when I was in preschool and um, I had the usual um, braids and plaits with the hair bows and as you see here this is a result of the hot comb um, I learned very early on that the hot comb was not my friend. <laughs> this here, I had a lot of hair, but this um, is actually the result of the relaxer. So um, in elementary, I started getting um, relaxers. And the relaxers did no good for my hair. As you can see here, by the time I was in high school, I could barely put my hair in a ponytail. Um, by my senior year in high school, um, you'll see here with um, my cap and gown, my hair was really stringy. It had been broken off and it was just really thin and stringy. Here, um, my hair looks a little thicker and fuller and that is because I have weave-in <laughs> tracks. So that's what I have there. Every summer, um, I got my hair put into braids and of course had um, um, weave um, braided into my hair so that way it was easy to keep up with. By the time I turned 20 I decided to cut my hair. So I cut my hair because I wanted a fresh start. I wanted to cut the damaged hair off and I wanted it to grow back um, healthy. And because of the damage of relaxers I had um, I had a few bald spots actually, like just clean, smooth bald spots. Um, and the thing about cutting my hair short was that it kept growing then. It was like once I cut it, it kept growing. So here I just decided to flip it and I also had highlights put in. And then of course I just got tired of the whole process of relaxers and just trying to do all these things to my hair and I decided on this day that I would just wash my hair and just let my hair do its thing. Now at this time I had no idea about the whole natural hair. I had no idea what my hair naturally looked like. I just figured once I washed my hair that this is just what it looked like. Um, so I stopped using relaxers and um, this was um, 2007 I believe so I still had the highlights and I was just looking like a wild lion woman with my big giant mane <laughs> but you couldn't tell me I wasn't cute though <laughs> um, so here um, is where I had um, my first sew in so kind of like to help tame the wild lion look and then I began using the option of wigs because I could just keep my hair um, pinned down or whatever and just put a wig on and still have a style. Um, I had um, a half wig here where I got to show off some, some curls. So I usually would put that on and put maybe like a headband or a scarf around it and of course it looked like it was my naturally curly hair. Um, so of course graduating um, college in 2008 um, that's what I did and it looked really cute with the um, with the cap <laughs> here um, I actually had um, a rod set and this is like my favorite transitioning style after a few days it started to look like um, this and I absolutely loved this hairstyle and um, after a while, <laughs> it turned into a nice afro, which was absolutely cute also. And I loved rocking that afro. Um, so I, I like the fact that it was just soft and it was fluffy. And, um, and I was starting to go into teaching then. So I would take like pencils and hide it in my afro just for laughs. Um, also, because I was, you know, like I said, going into teaching, I wanted to look um, professional and I wanted like a smooth look. So I would always um, smooth my hair back into a little bun. And then in 2009, I did the big chop. 
I wanted to see what my curly hair looked like. So I sat in this in my room on the side of the bed, as you see there, and I grabbed the scissors and I cut my hair. So I cut off all of the relaxed, stringy parts, and this is what I ended up with, my little teeny weeny afro. So I had my curls there, I had my little waves there, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have curly hair. It is so pretty. Um... Cause I was really expecting to transition a little longer, but of course I got impatient and I was just so excited to see my natural curls and just see how my hair was naturally. Um, especially since I grew up not even knowing that this is what my actual hair looked like. So um, I would smooth my hair back into um, just a little, I guess a little teeny weeny afro bun I guess um so yeah so I cut a lot of hair off it was very short um so this is one with me with just a scarf wrapped around and um and my curls out um a few times I would rock the um head scarves so I would wrap my hair up in um a head scarf in different colors to match my outfits um, and so I just continue wearing my little puff in the back. Yeah, that's what I'll call it. My little puff. Um, <laughs> so that was like my little professional style. Um, just to keep everything nice and neat and smooth. Um, sometimes I would wear my hair out in my curls and just let them flow. And then I wanted to see exactly how long my hair had grown. So I used to flat iron so I flat ironed my hair and I just had all of this healthy hair that I was just so excited about and it just it just looked so nice and already it looks way better than that stringy hair that I had in high school graduation um here is just um <laughs> just me being silly with some wild and crazy hair that's me and my husband there when we were dating just being silly <laughs> um here is where um i would use one of my little uh popular styles where i would put my hair in a little pony with my little side bang um this particular picture is my absolutely favorite picture that i, I have ever taken i love it this is actually a twist out um, here is just my hair pulled back in um, a curly puff with a scarf. And of course I have my little red flower there on the side. And then I flat ironed my hair again. And as you can see, I have a whole lot more growth this time. And this was about, um, uh, I would say 2011. So 2009 is where I did my big chop. 2011 is that... Um, straighten style and then this is just me and my curly um, wash and go and then in 2012 for my bridal shoot I had the keratin treatment and so um, that actually was just amazing because my hair it just felt so light and soft and fluffy and look how long it is <laughs> so when I went out for the actual bridal shoot um, it rained earlier, so there was a lot of moisture in the air, and so my hair, as you can see there, started to curl back. But it was still cute, though. <laughs> so, 2014, my curly hair is growing longer, and um, I'm using um, certain gels to kind of help make those curls pop. And um, as you can see here, this is how long my hair is with the curl so without even straightening it my hair is um down to my beyond my shoulders in its curly state and then um sometimes i just have my hair in a curly ponytail and i either just use a hair tie or I use a banana clip and just pull my hair back or sometimes i use my um side bangs as you can see so i'm going to show you in just a little bit the difference between my side bangs there and before so here I have the difference between um, 
2010 and 2014 and you can see how much my um my hair has grown and then 2009 to 2014 from my big chop to 2014 that is a lot of hair growth and that is a whole lot different from that stringy high school hair now that I am a mom I haven't been doing a really good job of taking care of my hair so as you can see here it is all matted up and tangled and just starting to lock up in some places so this is the, uh, re the result of neglecting my hair thanks to motherhood yes I'm blaming it on that it's a shame though so I have washed my hair and it is now clean and you may not be able to tell much that I have detangled it but I have um, it's just a wet poof now so here my hair is dried um, gelled and styled my curls are defined I'm able to shake my hair a little um, curls are definitely defined and so therefore there's shrinkage um, so my hair is just loose I don't always wear my hair like this but this is just for demonstration purposes so my hair is loose um, I use activator gel on my hair because I like how it makes my hair feel soft my hair is shiny um, my curls are defined the only thing I don't like is the fact that it has a sticky residue and it gets everywhere and touching it leaves a mess so I try to tell people don't touch my hair you're gonna regret it um, after I had AJ a lot of my hair loss was um, around my edges and as you can see it's all pretty much grown back but I'm gonna have to repeat that again after I have this baby my first question is what products do you all use to keep your curls defined but with no crunch or sticky residue um, I use activator gel and I hate the residue that it leaves my second question is what are some tips for postpartum hair loss um, I dealt with this after having AJ and now with this pregnancy I'm wondering if there are some tips to help for next time First Corinthians chapter 11 verse 15 tells us but if a woman has long hair is it her glory for her hair is given to her for a covering with that being said your hair is your glory protect it take care of it cherish it